Hey everyone, Wynn here, and welcome back to our virtual summer makerspace club. We're going we're gonna to read a fun story that I've heard since I was a little kid, Three Billy Goats Gruff. It's originally a Norwegian story, but this is a newer, a newer version set in rhyme. If you'd like to read along, grab your orange folder out of your kit, or you can just listen to me read it. So let's begin, Three Billy Goats Gruff. Once there were three billy goats on a hill eating up all the oats. After they cleared the field, they went on, they went on a search for more yield. They came, upon the they came upon a bridge on their path, but crossing it would mean the troll's wrath. The troll was mean, nasty, and always hungry. If they crossed it, he would surely eat all three. But the older and biggest goat had a plan. The others listened to lengthen their lifespan. With the plan explained, the youngest goat started. He looked back for a moment before he darted. His tiny hooves made a light trip trap. The noise awoke the troll from its nap. The troll was on, a was on the bridge with a leap. You have awoken me from my sleep. The youngest goat was frightened by the troll, but he continued with the oldest, go oldest goat's goal. Look at me, I am the youngest and smallest. Do you want my brothers? He's, you want my brother, he's the biggest. The troll thought for a moment and said, Then be off, and the little goat fled. The other goat saw the brother's success, which gave the second goat a little less stress. He started across the bridge next, careful to show the troll his due respect. You dare cross my bridge, said the troll. The second goat gulped, but continued his stroll. You don't want to eat me, said number two. Wait until my bigger brother, he's better for you. The troll looked up to see the bigger goat up the path, and he let the second goat let the second goat go after he did the math. Finally the largest goat started down the knoll and marched straight up to the troll. You will make a fine meal for me, goat, said the troll, filled with lots of gloat. But the wise older goat knew what to do to avoid being the troll's dinner stew. If you try to eat me, troll, you will regret it. I will fight you, and I will not quit. The troll's stomach rumbled, and he was confused. He did not know how, but he knew he was being used. The troll started toward the biggest buck, but the goat moved its head and struck. The goat had lowered his head with his horns, and they were as sharp as thorns. He charged ahead, horns first. The pain caused the troll to reverse. He lingered for a moment, shocked, but the biggest goat just walked. He walked past the troll and the bridge where the brothers waited on the ridge. This week you're going to be making a bridge. Your bridge needs to be strong enough to hold up your three goats. We're going to be using your rocks again for this one. Your bridge also needs to be big enough to fit your troll under. Here's the troll printout from the, from the kit. You can cut out your troll and glue him to a piece of cardboard or to the bottom of a bin or leave him as is and make your bridge a little bit bigger. But your bridge must include the rocks and it must include or it must be big enough for the troll to hide under. If you didn't get a kit, the troll is roughly 8 inches tall by 8 inches wide. Or feel free to use a regular sheet of paper. To build your bridge, use any materials you can find around your house or outside. Once you've built your bridge, put your goats on to see if it will hold. Will your goats survive? If not, try building it again and see if you can, and see if you can improve it. Or if it did work, try making a bigger bridge. Make it longer or make it taller or both. This week I also want you to try writing your own folktale. Folktales are usually told word, word of mouth. So after you've written, written it, tell it to a family member or a friend and ask them to pass it along. Experiment with your bridge and with your folktale and tell us your results in the comments below. Or make your own social media post. Use the hashtag MyFCPL so that we can see it too. And I will see you next week with another story and more activities to do. Until then, keep on exploring and making, and I'll see you next time.